Julian or a Thor, developer of Gravity, mm -hmm. probably the most famous Symbian app. Oh no, out stop there. <laughs> So, how how is the conference? The conference is great. Uh, it's been very great. I've met so many people from Nokia and, and people I've met not before from the internet. So it's really nice to see all those people coming over here. Get their thoughts of uh, where to go, what to do. Yeah, so did they finally convince you to stay with Symbian and Lend UT and not move to Android? No, but this is a this is a common question from Nokia to me, from, from others to me. If, I, if I'm going to stay with them and if I'm going to port to go to Qt or not, I can't say right now because it's not it's not necessary to think about it right now. Because as we heard today in the keynote, there Nokia plans to ship uh, 50 million phones based on the Symbian 3 platform. And the Symbian 3 platform basically is the same Symbian platform that we've been doing, we've been working with before. So, so most of our applications will be working on those hopefully 50 or even more million phones that are coming. So we can decide later and see if it's worth it or not. So I don't have to, nobody has to make the decision right now. We still have some time to think about it. So, uh I'm talking about like, gravity. Uh, how did you come up with the idea? I mean, you've been developing some other stuff, and yeah. the modular is popular, but not on that level yeah, like gravity. So, true. how did it happen? There were some some very personal reasons for it. Basically, actually, three reasons. The first reason was uh, that I've been working on another project which I'm still occupied with for a long time already, since 2002, 2003, and I finally got fed up with it, and I needed to do something else, so I thought, uh, let's have a fun project, let's start something that people are looking for, Twitter client came into my mind, uh, let's make it an application that looks good just for the fun of it, and possibly uh, give it out for free, so that people are coming to my website, and visit my website and buy my other stuff. The second reason was my wife, my wife was, always, was using Twitter, starting to get into Twitter, starting to get friends by Twitter professional friends, and, they, and then uh, uh, she said, I need something for my E71, write a Twitter client. <coughs> and then a couple of uh, virtual friends from, from the internet were also saying, that we need a proper Twitter client uh, on the S60 platform, we know you can program for it, just do it. So those were the, the reasons I didn't plan it anything. To be such a success, such a commercial success, uh, in the in the beginning. So, uh, uh, and you are a single developer, let's say, a single person working on, on this. Not not a company, not many people. People, uh, you didn't hire anyone to no. do the job. No, no, I did it all by myself. You did. So, so my company only consists out of me. Uh, there's only me working there, I'm a developer, I'm also the, the web designer, I'm the support person, I'm the community manager, <laughs> uh, I'm the secretary, I'm everything, um, and most of all, I'm the programmer, I'm just a programmer, and uh, I'm usually doing stuff for myself, uh, and that's where I'm, where I'm good at, and if I'm lucky, then people like what I'm doing, and then I'm by, by it. So many hats to wear. So where do you find time? Does it? How much does it take? Uh, I mean. Yeah. Um, I started with Gravity in I think January 2009, January or beginning of February. I think it was must have must have been January, and I released the first official version end of March. So it took two and a half, two two, two and a half months for the first version. Uh, but I have to admit that I was, I'm still only working part time. I'm working three days a week only because I'm on the uh, the rest of the week I'm taking care of kids. So it was like two two months. But of course I was reusing a lot of stuff from from earlier projects. So if you were starting from really from scratch. Uh, Without any knowledge of Simeon, it would have taken more time, of course. But on the other hand, for Gravity, the first version, for me, it just took two months. That's all. Oh, that's impressive. So, how are the sales? Are they the same, increasing, decreasing? Uh, say right I'm, now? I must say, I'm, I'm, I seem to be the lucky one of, uh, with, with all the things I'm selling, I'm seeing more or less constant sales. 
project I've do, I did do before had more or less the same characteristics. It has been selling this almost the same amount of copies each, each and every day, regardless of weekday or weekend, which is a bit strange, but I don't complain because it's good. With Gravity, I initially, as I said, planned it as a free application for people to get to know me, get to know my website, and then eventually buy some other stuff from me. But then uh, some people convinced me and said, no, no, you have to take some money. Uh, so I thought about, well, maybe some people are buying it. Let's see how it goes. One or two months or three months. I never, I never ever dreamed that it's going for right now for one and a half years already with more or less constant sales and recently increasing sales. So it's 80 months after raising it, it's still the sales are going up, which is a great sign for me. And uh, so how many copies of Gravity did you sell? Uh, sell? Not, <coughs> yeah. I've been, I, I've been honestly thinking about releasing those numbers a couple of times already. I've been asked for it. I've thought about it myself because you usually hear about the success stories from other developers, like in Wired magazine or in the newspaper, and you think, ah, if I release my numbers, they call me too, probably. <laughs> but then again, I was con I was consulting some friends, professional friends. And relatives and most of them said do not disclose them if there is no real reason except you know thinking of being famous and wired or whatever don't release them. there's no ne no need all I can say is that I'm th there are two things that could probably give an impression uh, I'm living from it that's number one and the second is I haven't ever changed the price I haven't lowered it I never had a discount offer nothing I'm giving some discounts on bulk orders, but that's usual business. But I have never changed the price, and I didn't have any holiday sales whatsoever. It might give an impression uh, that there is no need to think about the price tag. So, what's your expectation for the next generation Symbian devices, uh, Symbian free devices that were announced today? And so regarding the gravity. Regarding gravity, it's going to be a reality check now because uh, the TCNH will come with a built-in with a client. So far, what I can say from the numbers, I have the statistics I'm doing on myself. I'm very, I'm looking to it very uh, hopeful because I can see that the conversion rate on the N8 currently is the highest conversion rate of all phones that I do statistics of. So that makes it looks very very promising. It is a real check. It's with everything in business, uh, with everything that happens, like when Twitter bought Tweety, the Twitter client for the iPhone, and the other Twitter client developers for the iPhone were just crying foul. Uh, with every every change, there is a risk and an opportunity. So for me, uh, with a new platform, new similar platform, I think there are more more opportunities than risks because first of all the phone is more performant I can do a lot of more things that I haven't been able to do I can make gravity even look more look better <clears throat> the other thing is that people probably just get to know Twitter because of the build and stuff and then figure out what it is and then want something better to use so let's see let's let's meet in, in a year and